Here we are at the beautiful Yaz Island circuit, where qualifying is about to begin. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the action. This is the kind of track that eats rear tyres for breakfast, or so I'm told by more experienced drivers than myself. Lots of low-speed exits means the rears are in for a lot of punishment. It's all too easy to spin them up coming out of a corner too aggressively. It might look great for us as spectators, as we love to see a car driven beyond its limits, but it's not going to result in a great long-run pace. Hi guys, Brown here, and welcome to the final part of this season's F1 2019 career mode here it's part 21 and we're here in Abu Dhabi under the floodlights to finish off this season but let's first see what qualified has in store for us as we start our first qualifying lap if you miss any of the previous episodes a link will be in the description below as we head through the first couple of corners we've lost the back end with plus it completely we've gone completely off the track there and we've gone to another part of Yas Island and I'm getting back onto the track and we've been disqualified I'm not too sure why there I mean I couldn't exactly help it I'm not sure what the FIA are doing there, but let's get into Welcome to the, the race. Welcome to the Island circuit for the finale of another thrilling Formula One season. It's been a breathtaking year, and we end it at a track that's been the scene of many glories and heartbreaks over its short history. It's time to end the season in style. It's time for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Marina circuit is made up of 3.4 miles of track, featuring 21 corners with two very long straights. DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones at both Turn 8 and Turn 11 offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular Turns 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us, Ant, and tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. The cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Raikkonen, Verstappen, Kevin Magnussen, and Perez, Leclerc, Bottas, Holkenberg, and George Russell, Norris, Faber, Robert Kubica, and Ricardo. Gasly, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Albon, Lance Stroll and Roman Grosjean. Brown and Devon Butler starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. So it's going to be a two-stop. Obviously, we're just going to um, push as hard as we can and see what we can do in this race. We're going to start in the medium, then go to two sets of the soft. And... Yeah, it's the final round, obviously. We'll have to see if we're staying or are we going. Um, I'll leave that till we kick off things in Australia. But let's go to the five red lights. It's lights out, and away we go. It's Hamilton v Vettel heading into turn one. There's a, 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 a Alpha doing very well. We've just gone for the lunge into turn one. We've gained two positions from a Renault and a Haas, and now we're right behind. Our teammate who's going side by side with a racing point and now we're trying to look for a way past and we're going to go for it down the inside we've got the race point we've got our teammate and we've got the other Renault of Devon Butler just I think no we haven't we've been pushed off the track by the Williams and we're going to go down the inside of the Williams I think it's George Russell and now we're free wide heading down the first long straight you can see our teammate in the background getting a bit of a toe from us and he pulls to our inside Albon having a go at Rio for taking us here we're trying to squeeze him as we're trying to get past 
um, George Russell and around the outside Alpen tries but he completely force him off the track there he might be my teammate might be the last round of the season but we've still got that hard race in between us now Devon Butler trying to re-overtake us into to sort of triple chicane we keep him behind that and that's a lovely camera shot that one but as we skip on another lap and now we're pushing for the cars in front but we still got to have eyes behind us so Albany is still there of course he is on the soft tyre we're on the medium so he does have the tyre advantage and he's gone down our inside and he's got the job done on us I didn't really want to try and carry that move on through the chicane but I knew I'd have DRS in this second part on the second straight now we pull to his outside and we go the long way round here or attempt to and he's defended it beautifully there has Alex Alban and um, it looks like we're going to have to wait for another lap as here we go then round is it like the port or something and now heading down at the straight once again and this time we should be able to get past Alban and hopefully this time stay in front of Alban we pull to his inside and we fly past him and we're ahead before we even get to that first chicane but now he's going to be on us as he will try and re overtake us here but I think he may be just a little too far back there to do anything and he is which is good for us and now we can push on we've actually caught a battle up ahead that has Verstappen in it and we're going to go for the lunge down the inside actually I think it's Gasly and we've got that job done and now we can have a look at the McLaren of Nico Hülkenberg and now Alpen's having a look at the Red Bull in fact so Red Bull being swamped by the sister team as there they go side by side Gasly and Alban Gasly just about holds on but now his line's going to be compromised heading down the second DRS straight is he a racing point and an alpha side by side there and Gasly just about stays in front of Alban there that is great racing now hopefully we can get a head down ahead after the McLarens and indeed we can we skip on here down the inside of Lando Norris and now round the outside we try again he's pushed us off the track and now we've lost out to Pierre Gasly as Gasly now re-overtakes us now he might lose out to our teammate yet again as, as Norris and Gasly side by side we have lost out to our teammate again so it's not worked out for us here so it just just couldn't find the rhythm on those medium compound tyres thought about going to the outside of the of Alban round this corner but we couldn't quite do that and we're still there we've gone off the track completely and down the inside of Alban not sure what he was doing there but we've overtaken him and now he's fallen back into the clutches of the Renaults and now we're on the back of the McLaren of Lando Norris and down the inside there's contact there we've gone like right on top of the curbs I don't really know what Hulkenberg was trying to do with that now yeah, we're on the back of the other McLaren now and we try and get past them Is it up ahead this is Gasly getting past um, Nico Hülkenberg I keep switching for, I'm not really sure 100% sure what McLaren it is as we go side by side try and go around the outside of Hülkenberg and we do get that job done very well there but now we've got we've still got a look behind us the two McLarens are going wheel to wheel into that triple chicane not sure if it is a triple chicken, well it is, but I just like calling it now, they're still side by side Alban trying to get his nose in here, you can see they're still side by side, the McLaren It's great battle and they're still going, but Hulk, um, Norris just about wins out As we skip on probably 6-7 laps, we come into the pits 
the, the guys we were battling pitted because they were all on the soft tyre we were of course on the medium so now we're going to go to our first set of soft tyres and into the pits we come and they're changing the front wing here what are they doing? they changed the front wing and we've lost so much time with that honestly I don't, at the time I was like what are they doing? I, the car felt fine it didn't feel like I had damage front wing damage and nothing I don't think I can't obviously I recorded this video so <laughs> a long ago now compared to when it's being uploaded um, I don't think something um, it showed me that on the heads up display so we've just been completely shafted and now we're re we're fighting with the Williams of George Russell which about five six laps ago I thought we were nowhere near of but now we've managed to catch the back of the battles that we were having after a decent amount of laps we had to take as much life without the soft as we had to to catch up to these and now the two McLarens going at it again here and now we just kind of try maybe go around the outside of both of them that hasn't worked out they're still side by side here they're going to compromise each other's line and Hulkenberg is going to compromise Lando's line so we can have a look at getting past Lando Norris here and we've gone to the inside of both of them and we've got both McLarens in one straight there and that's something we really need to do and now we're on the back of our teammate and to be honest I'm a bit sick of battling Albert in this race I mean down the inside we go into the hairpin I mean I'm glad to have the battles with Albin but I kind of wanted him earlier on in the season not at the final round here in Abu Dhabi he left it a bit late but here he comes again Albin his, his soft's a little bit fresher than ours and he overtakes us and we're going to have to wait once again here or, or can we he's going that slow through the chicane practically pushing him through it and we have managed to get down the inside of him here and to be honest not a lot happened after that we're going to come into the pits to make our final stop and when we come out of the pits we're just going to have to push and push and push and push and push and push <laughs> so it's going to be a very very kind of concentrated final stint to try and see the ground that we've, um, that we've lost and try and make it up again through the kind of cool pits I know a lot of people don't like um, the pits but I do, I like it I think they're kind, of, they're kind of cool as we skip on then quite a lot of laps on to lap 24, 5 laps to go and we're on the back of Lance Stroll and hopefully here we can get past it fairly quickly because I don't f I don't think we're going to be able to get points but there's still 5 laps to go and anything can happen in Formula 1 there could be a safety car I mean we haven't had a single safety car this year because safety car might as well not even be in the game because you never see it I've seen loads of people complain about it but we've got Stroll and now we're on the back of Ricardo and we're going to go down his inside here I, I've been doing that move all race long just take the quickest line through that chicane and then get past him and here we come on the house of Roma of Kevin Magnussen sorry and we've got that job done and now skipping on a little bit further I think Kevin Magnus is going to have a look at re overtaking us here and yes he is but we're going to hold all the way around the outside and we stay ahead there somehow and we skip on to the final lap round the final corner Sebastian Vettel victorious in Abu Dhabi and we're going to end the season with a 12th place and to be honest there's a lot to reflect on in that race not only that race the entire season it's been a great great season I hope you've enjoyed it what was it that set them apart from the competition today 
I'd say it was down once again to good consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Ferrari are at it again, an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Sebastian Vettel finishes off the season with a win. Kimi Raikkonen getting on the podium, so he did very well. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying, so, so many good races this season. That race in Italy, podium in Italy, that race in Singapore. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Lucas flew through the pack in that race. What's his secret? Judging from today's race, it must be pretty hard to fend off Devon when he wants to pass. That was a pretty close finish with your old F2 rival. You two are pretty competitive, aren't you? Did you struggle to get through all that traffic today? That's everything. So we're here in Emma's office. Obviously, you're not really, you don't really see this in F1 careers if unless you're being sacked by the team, and she offers you a new drive. Um, but I think we've had a good season. We've done, we've done what we asked for. Fortunately, we didn't get the team objective, which you can see that now. Let's see what Emma has to say about this season's results. Nice job this season. You've been performing well and that's putting us in a strong negotiating position contract-wise. Plus, my 10% is getting more valuable. So enjoy your break and keep up the good work next year. So, here it is the screen. Are we staying or are we going? You'll have to wait and see, and also you'll have to wait and see if all those rumours that I started back in Japan are true. You'll have to wait and see until we kick when we kick off the new season in Australia. But will it be with Toro Rosso? Find out when the new season kicks off in the next video. Goodbye.